Hi everyone, this is Ryan and today I'm going to be talking about this topic uh, trading multiple pairs versus one pair. Alright, so there are different there are two different schools of thoughts, right? Some traders always say stick to one pair, whereas other traders say you know trade as many pairs as you want. So what 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 should you do? Right? Which should you which school of thought should you follow? Now for me, I feel that if your strategy works on one pair, it should work on every single pair. So why is it stopping you from trading other pairs? Right? Maybe different pairs might have uh, different values, you know, that, that you want to use, diff you know, different calculations, different stop loss, you know, that you that you use. But generally your strategy should work on every currency pair right that, that's how i feel right if your if your strategy can't work on other pairs then you know i i don't think it's advisable to trade that strategy all right because maybe it's just maybe that strategy is just a uh, relevant to certain time periods only you know during the year where you know this it's working well on this currency pair all right and then the rest of the year it doesn't work all right so your strategy should be able to work on every currency pair so that should not that should not stop you from trading other pairs all right but then back to the topic again you know should you trade multiple pairs or should you just trade just versus trading one pair now if i would trade only one pair then you know there might be days where i don't have any trades at all right because my setups just don't come down that, that often right I get maybe one or two setups a day I like to trade on the daily time frame so I get maybe only one or two setups a day and maybe the trade might not happen if I trade just one pair so what I normally do is I will look at a I will look at maybe five to seven pairs right most of the time five currency pairs and then I look for setup in those five pairs so why do I do that so because if I look at five pairs then the chances of me getting a trade today is quite high right instead of just trading one pair so now I would have maybe four or five setups in the day right and not all five four or five setups is going to trigger maybe two of them trigger and that's enough that's good enough for me I just want to enter two trades a day all right so for me I would like to trade on multiple pairs right but I don't trade on 10 20 30 different pairs I keep it to about five to seven pairs all right so that that's the way I do it yeah rather than just trading on one currency pair so you know as 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 a trader I would also advise you to look at you know maybe two or three currency pairs for a start right two or three currency pairs for a start or especially if you are back testing do it on as many currency pairs as you can so that you get an idea of how well this strategy is working what's the accuracy rate like you know how many percent of how many percent of the trades you're going to win versus how many percent you're going to lose all right so you know don't don't let your don't let your strategy you know stop you from trading multiple pairs i feel that it's good to to be trading a few pairs right after all they say don't put all your eggs in one basket right so don't put all your hopes or all your all your you know capital into just one currency pair i like to spread it out around a few currency pairs as well all right so that's all for today's topic remember to like my facebook page or to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye